Hi everyone. Today, we're going to explore how insertion works in AVL trees. If you're not familiar, an AVL tree is a special type of binary search tree that keeps itself balanced automatically. This balance is important because it ensures that operations like insertion, deletion, and searching always run efficiently with a time complexity of O log N. The tree achieves this by maintaining something called a balance factor for each node. The balance factor is simply the difference between the heights of the left and right subtrees. To stay balanced, this value can only be minus one, zero, or one. If it ever goes beyond this range, the tree becomes unbalanced, and we fix it using rotation operations. The insertion process for AVL trees can be a bit tricky because it involves handling different types of imbalances and applying the right adjustments. To make it easier to follow, I've divided this topic into two parts. In this video, we'll keep things simple by exploring the four types of adjustments using basic examples. Then, in the next video, we'll go deeper into more general cases, complete with detailed animations and code walkthroughs, so you can fully grasp how AVL tree insertion works. When inserting into an AVL tree, we often run into four classic types of imbalances, each requiring a specific adjustment. To make things clearer, I've put together a table that summarizes the conditions for each type and the corresponding rotation operation. As we work through the examples, we'll refer to this table to identify the imbalance type and apply the appropriate adjustment. Let's start with the first case, LL or left-left. Imagine we insert the values 3, 2, and 1 sequentially. After inserting 3, the tree has only one node, so its balance factor is 0, meaning the tree is balanced. Next, we insert 2. Since 2 is less than 3, it becomes the left child of 3. Now, node 2 has a balance factor of 0, and node 3's balance factor becomes 1, the tree remains balanced. Finally, we insert 1. Since 1 is less than 2, it becomes the left child of 2. At this point, node 1 has a balance factor of 0, node 2's balance factor becomes 1, and node 3's balance factor becomes 2. Since node 3's balance factor has exceeded 1, the tree is now unbalanced. Using our table, we identify this as an LL imbalance. This occurs when a node's balance factor is greater than 1, and its left child's balance factor is greater than or equal to 0. To fix this, we perform a right rotation. In a right rotation, we rotate node 3 down to the right. Now, node 2 becomes the new root, node 3 becomes the right child of node 2, and node 1 remains as the left child of node 2. After the rotation, the balance factors of all three nodes are reset to zero, and the tree is balanced again. Now let's move on to the second case, RR, or right-right. This is essentially the mirror image of the LL case. The conditions and rotation logic are symmetric, but in the opposite direction. For instance, if we insert the values 1, 2, and 3 sequentially, the tree becomes unbalanced because the right subtree grows too tall. To restore balance, we perform a left rotation. In this operation, we rotate node 1 downward to the left, making node 2 the new root. Now, node 1 becomes the left child of node 2, and node 3 remains the right child of node 2. After the rotation, the tree is balanced again. Next, we have the LR, or left-right case. Suppose we insert the values 3, 1, and 2. After inserting 3, the tree has only one node and is balanced. When we insert 1, it becomes the left child of 3, and the tree remains balanced. Then, we insert 2. Since 2 is greater than 1, it becomes the right child of 1. Now, node 2 has a balance factor of 0, node 1's balance factor becomes minus 1, and node 3's balance factor becomes 2. The tree is unbalanced because node 3's balance factor exceeds 1. Using our table, we identify this as an LR imbalance. This happens when a node's balance factor is greater than 1, and its left child's balance factor is less than 0. To fix this, we perform two rotations. First, a left rotation on node 1, followed by a right rotation on node 3. After the left rotation, node 2 becomes the middle node between 1 and 3. At this stage, the tree structure resembles the LL case. To complete the process, we perform a right rotation on node 3, making node 2 the new root. Now, node 1 becomes the left child of node 2, 
and node 3 becomes its right child. With this adjustment, the balance factors of all three nodes are reset to zero, and the tree is balanced again. Finally, we have the RL, or right-left case, which is the mirror image of LR. The conditions and rotation logic are symmetric, but in the opposite direction. For instance, if we insert the values 1, 3, and 2, the tree becomes unbalanced because the right child of the root has a left-heavy subtree. To fix this, we perform a right rotation on node 3, followed by a left rotation on node 1. After these rotations, the tree is balanced again. And that's a wrap for this introduction to AVL tree insertion. In the next video, we'll dive deeper into more general cases, with both animations and code to help illustrate the concepts. See you then!